Hi, welcome to another video. So just a quick video today. I'm just going to clean up these outside chairs. They're a little bit rusty, so I'm going to give them a bit of a rub down just with some really fine wet and dry emery paper. And then I'm going to go over it to get any grease off just with some surgical spirit. And then I'm going to spray paint them with this metal spray paint. So let's see how it goes. Some bits of rust there, I'm just going to clean up. Bits of rust in places, the back's worse. There's some bits of rust there. First of all, I'll start by giving it a bit of a rub down just with this emery paper. I'm going to use a scraper just so I can get into some of the edges. And then I'll rub the rest of it down just to create a key for the spray paint to stick to. I'm just going to go over it, just get all the dust off, just with a dry brush. And now I can use a surgical spirit just to get any of the grease off. mask the feet up just with a bit of masking tape so they don't get any paint on when I'm spraying them. Okay now it's ready for spraying. I'll probably do about three or four separate coats, rest about 15 minutes between each coat to let the paint dry slightly and we'll see if it covers the whole thing. I'll give the can a good shake just before we spray. I'll do it outside, it's a little bit windy but hopefully it'll be okay. I'll kind of take them outside and I'll spray them out there, I've just got a bit of tarpaulin and the feet are all masked up, ready to go. I'm going to shake the can well for about a minute to make sure the paint's mixed thoroughly. I'm going to use a metal spray outside just so it's well ventilated. You can spray on a small test area first if you want. What I'm going to do is hold the can about 8 to 12 inches away from the chairs and I'm going to spray in a back and forth motion, overlapping each pass slightly, ensuring for an even coat. I'm going to let the first coat dry completely before I then do another coat. I'm using short bursts and controlling my hand motion as I'm going backwards and forwards. After you've finished, you can clean the nozzle by turning the can upside down and just spraying it until clear gas comes out. This prevents any clogging for your next project. Well there you have it, it's made these chairs look really brand new again. Well these chairs have turned out pretty good in the end. They look quite good, they look like they're new. So it's definitely worth giving them a spray. So I think I might sell them. Well actually I might keep them, they could go outside. But I have got too many bits of furniture now. But anyway, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for some more DIY videos.